Hi, this is Michael Kohler of Coral Castle Explained. In this video, I would like to discuss briefly the metal door that's at the front of the Coral Castle. As you walk into the Coral Castle at the front entrance near the bell that Ed had placed decades ago for visitors to ring, there was a metal door. When you first walk in, you may not notice it because you are confronted by many other coral objects such as the three-ton gate, the scenery inside, and of course the tower to your right where Leed Skelman lived. The metal door itself is definitely showing signs of age, however you can still see the etchings that Edward Leed Skelman placed on it years ago. If the door were shut, this would be the first thing that you would see before he opened it. On the front of the door is an etching of the sun. Extending off of the sun are two curved lines, one going up and the other down. One each one extends coming to a small circle at the top and bottom of the door respectively. At the top corner to the left is a circle with no markings. At the bottom right corner the circle is labeled earth and it is also labeled with an item number, the number 21. There has been much speculation as to what exactly the number means or why Ed would depict the sun and earth on the front of his door. Some have said that it represents another earth that is on the far side of the sun and that may be part of his secret as to how he was able to move and carve large coral blocks. There is another theory which relates to numerology. However, this theory is only discernible if you understand why the coral castle was made and what it represents mathematically. If you would like to learn more about the coral castle and its metal door, you can download five free chapters of the book Coral Castle Explained to learn more about this amazing contemporary megalithic structure created by one man that weighed a hundred pounds and stood five feet tall yet was able to move and carve eleven hundred tons of coral by himself.